All right, guys, today's going to be a bit of a different style video. I just want to talk about some stuff that I feel like needs addressing. And I don't have any idea what to do for visuals for this kind of video. I didn't want to just talk over a blank screen. So what I decided to do was just record myself doing a pull-up workout. And I'm just going to put that on the background while I do a voiceover. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, well, I guess the main point of this video is just to kind of let you guys know that I will not be uploading any more Clash Royale content on this channel. The reason why for that is because I have quit playing the game and uh, this is not like a it's not like a rage quit or anything it's just kind of like a I just I'm, I just don't want to play it anymore it's just not I've just I just realized that it's not good for me it's not gonna put me where I want to be it's just not it's not worth it you know like once you just like zoom out and just see the bigger picture you can just realize like what am I doing and like the reason why I took so long kind of was like to make this video was like it's been a few days since I last uploaded was I wanted to make sure that I wasn't just like talking shit and just like lying to you guys and just make this video and then the next day I'm back on the game because the truth is I am or I was a Clash Royale addict and I did play this game way too much and I just I've had enough now and I've not played the game I've not touched the game for like I don't know a few days five six days maybe so that's how I know that I'm not coming back and in terms of like what I'm going to do with this channel is I don't know yet to be honest I don't want to just quit the channel completely because I do have like I have amounted like 700 subscribers and I've got you know a few people that watch my videos all the time so uh I feel like you guys deserve this explanation which is why I'm making it but yeah I'm just kind of letting you know that there will not be any more Clash Royale on this channel because I'm not playing the game anymore it's just kind of like a I don't know I'm not making this video for like anyone to feel sorry for me by the way I just kind of want to like maybe make it relatable to some of you guys because in case some of you guys are also like addicted to this game it's like I need to like try help you guys realize what I've realized because yeah I've not played the game in a while I kind of just disappeared off it and my life has just been so much better outside of Clash Royale now that it's now that I've removed Clash Royale I, I couldn't tell you how much times I just I'd skip like workouts just to play Clash Royale or like the game would just make me lazy and I wouldn't like dudes I wouldn't study or anything I wouldn't I wouldn't get anything done in the real world you know what I mean so I just I don't know man after I just look at it from a objective point of view I'm not gonna let this stupid mobile game just like override my life and like take control of me because the game really is mental enslavement if you think about it like especially if you're like at my level so let me tell you guys which you probably don't know at my trophy range right Everyone who, who's at my trophy range is an addict at this game. Like, people literally look at me and they're like, yo, Shadow, you're like top 1,000 in the world and you love this game and you play so much, your life must be great. But they don't understand, like, the, the mental enslavement and the suffering that comes with being there. And it's just, I really don't think it's worth it. If you're not, if you're playing this game right, so if you're listening to this video, you'll, you probably play the game. And to be honest, if you're not Juicy J or you're not, Ian77 or you don't make a living off making content off this game or something like that if it's not improving your real life I highly do suggest you quit this game because I've been off the game for like five six days now not even touched it not even thought about it not looked back once and I just have zero regrets and I'm just telling you guys that the grass is greener on the other side of the bridge and some of you guys who have like if you if you really think you are addicted and you want to stop like I'm just telling you that you, all you have to do is just have the guts to just pull the plug on it and just cross that bridge because it is it is way better across here like I've not when I when I quit the game last week I've not thought about it once I've not looked back I've not regretted my decision and it's just I've just had such a like I just feel better at life now and just everything feels better like I feel better like mentally I feel like I'm doing more productive stuff with my life now and like, it's just, it's actually crazy how much it like compromised me. Like, I'll tell you guys a quick story about two weeks ago, maybe when I had my first A-level maths paper, my actual real A-level exam, like a really important one, the one that decides whether I can go to university or not next year. And I remember the day before the maths exam, I went to bed that night, I checked my screen time and I had seven hours and 25 minutes on Clash Royale the day before a really important exam. And I probably did like, one and a half maybe hours of maybe two hours of maths revision that day which is I mean it's not that bad but like just compare it to like how much times I played Clash Royale that day 
And it's like, I still did good in the exam. I didn't like, I never let Clash Royale ruin my studies really. But just that fact alone that like I played Clash Royale for like four or five times more than I studied that day, the day before an exam. So I feel like that fact just alone is kind of crazy. And some of you guys can probably even maybe relate. But let me tell you guys for a fact, you were not more addicted than me. I was playing like upwards of five, six, seven hours a day. That was a pretty typical day. I think that was even the day before an exam, that's not going to lower my screen time in any way. So if you are kind of like struggling like this, I feel like the casuals don't know this as well. Because like there's two types of Clash Royale players, right? There's like the the mid-ladder casual players who are like not very good at the game. They're like pretty average, I guess. They play for like half an hour a day. They don't spend any money. Half an hour tops a day, that is. And like they just look at all like the really good players and they're just like, wow, you're really good. But like anyone who's like top, anyone who's just grinding every day for like a new best finish and like top 1,000, top 200, top whatever. It's like, they're like it's not worth being in that position. It's like it really is just, mental suffering and the way they've just like created the game and I really don't see uh, anything wrong with quitting and there's really no benefit to staying because like I don't know about you guys but I just I have a vision in my life where I want to end up and stuff like in like I don't know 5, 10, 15 years and just uh, spending 7 hours a day on a mobile game is not going to get me there I'm sorry so I've just applied myself to better things in real life and just I don't I don't look back at all I don't know how to explain it to you it even surprised me at first to be honest like I just quit this game that I was just ultimately addicted to and in just in one go I just quit and then I've just not looked back since and I've just I don't think about the game anymore I don't stress about it I don't pay attention to it I've, I've deleted all the, the trigger factors to it obviously it's deleted on my phone I've unsubscribed to all the YouTubers I've just I'm not on like the Twitter stuff about it, whatever. Just Clash Royale's completely been cut out of my life. And I'm not coming back, if I'm being honest. Like, the last few days have just been the best I've felt in such a long time. And I'm just going to keep continuing what I'm doing in real life and just keep it like this. So, if you're listening to this and you play Clash Royale, I would suggest that you stop because you have to really sit down and self evaluate, like, what value is this providing to your life could like what's it actually doing for me and even if it's something like it's just a bit of a de-stress like i don't know i just like to relax and play a bit after work or something whatever i'm sure there's better activities that you could do even just like to be honest if you're a casual at this game this not this video is not really for you you're probably fine but it's the people who are like around my level who's just like grind every day you want to get top new something best finish and it's like it's not worth it if you just zoom out and look at the bigger picture it's not worth it so many better ways you can apply yourself so yeah i kind of just felt like this was important to talk about because i feel like it's not really talked about too much by like other content creators and stuff that like clash royale is just way too addictive of a game and like i think they've designed it like that on purpose like i don't even know if i can say this but you guys probably don't understand that like there's genuinely evil people behind Supercell headquarters who like walk in a room together and they just they consciously make decisions on how they can keep the users of Clash Royale enslaved and it's like I don't even want to talk about that kind of stuff because it's just going to get me like stressed and triggered and stuff so um anyway in terms of like yeah this channel I do want to still upload on it but like it'll probably be more like IRL content instead of like obviously Clash Royale I'm probably gaming at all I don't think because if I'm not playing Clash Royale I'm not playing any game there was never a game that like really hit like Clash Royale did that like I could just play for so long and just never get bored and just love it like that so yeah probably like I don't know I literally have no idea what I'm gonna upload but obviously I'm gonna try finish my exams first I'll finish on like the 20th of June so like next week but after next week I'm basically free and I'm definitely going to try look to maybe, like, grow this YouTube channel with some, like, non clash related content. Probably, like, I don't know, maybe other informative videos. Maybe I'll just include some, like, other passions that I have. Or, like, I don't know. If if um if you're only here for clash Royale and that's the only reason why you're watching me, then obviously you can feel free to un- unsubscribe. But uh, if you want to stay around because, like, you're curious or, like, you just want to, like, see what else I can do or if you have other interests which I might highlight, then... Obviously, feel free to stay. I really don't 
care what you do right now. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's kind of a different video. I just thought it was a bit important to address. So hopefully you guys, like, enjoyed it or at least, like, understood my point of view maybe and just kind of, like, uh, took this as an explanation of why I kind of, like, disappeared. So anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye.